What's up, you guys? It's Max, owner of Max's Best Boot Camp. If you wanna burn fat all while lifting and toning the backside, then you're gonna love this workout, you guys. Four moves, three rounds, 12 minutes of non-stop fat burning awesomeness. All you need for this workout is one kettlebell. And if you don't have access to a kettlebell, go ahead and use a dumbbell. And we're gonna crank through this thing right now. All right guys, time to get into this thing. I hope you got in a quick warm up. And now go ahead and grab your kettlebell because we're gonna be doing this awesome combo. Five swings, 10 mountain climbers. First move starts in three, two, one. Kettlebell, swings, five swings. Reach through, stand up. And kettlebell swings, fantastic cardio and core work. And we're also working the posterior chain, which includes the backside, especially that booty. Now, five swings, and I want you to get down, 10 mountain climbers. Crank them out. If you lose count, don't worry about it. Just keep going, come back up, five swings. Now with the kettlebell swings, you can go Russian style, which is between waist height and shoulder height, or you can go overhead, that's about five. Now climbers 10, let's go 10 more seconds. Crank them out, that's about 10. Couple more seconds, three, two, one, time. Now, we're gonna go ahead and go into your strength move right now. Kettlebell goblet squats, kettlebells up. Now I like to go bottoms up, keep it right in below the chin. We're gonna squat down, get as low as you can, squeeze the butt, stand up, so awesome. Ooh, nice. Inhale through the nose down, exhale, squeeze the glutes as you stand up. Now what's cool about the kettlebell goblet squat, unlike other variations of the squat, because that weight's out in front of the body, we're also getting a nice core work as we're working the booty and the legs. Let's go, 12 more seconds, get low. Now you just get as low as you can on those squats. Feeling good, five seconds, four, three, two, one, time. Okay, now I want you to set that kettlebell aside. We're gonna be working this body weight drill. This is my variation on a donkey kick, which is way more cardio intensive. Hit the deck, go ahead now, right into a plank position. Now we're gonna go ahead and drive the knee in, and then drive it up, drive it in, drive it up. Now if this is a little too much for you, you can stay grounded right here. Just make sure we're squeezing the cheeks as you're pressing it up. Otherwise, not me. Go with the jump. Halfway through, switch. Other side. Drive it in. Drive it up. Such a cool move. We're also getting some nice core work as we're working the backside. Whew. And cardio, because it's a plyometric movement. We're getting that heart rate up. And I'm already starting to feel sweat starting to come on. Last one, two, one, time. Now, this is one of our favorite drills, cardio drills, that we do at the boot camp all the time. It's a high-low heel click. We're gonna be changing levels. Starts off with one high heel click, then hands on the ground, one low. One high, one low. It's crazy right now, side profile. Ooh. Crank them out. As many reps as you can. Ooh. Ha. Click it or tick it. Ah. Now you'd be surprised how much this taxes the body, especially after you get going through round one and two and three. Feels so good though. Ah. Let's go. This is the last move on round one. Total body burnout, guys. Ooh. Ah. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one, time. Heart rate's jacked up right now. That's one round done. We're gonna go back into the swings. Deep breath, get some air on board. Five swings, kettlebell swings, go. Round two right now. One, two, three, 
four, and five. Nice, set it down. It's really fun to go with the hands on the kettlebell like this, or even less stable, laying it down like this, two, three. Crank them out, either way. As I said, you can also do these on the ground. Now, if you don't have a kettlebell, you can do dumbbell swings. It's a very similar move. Technically, uh, it's just kind of an awkward grip. And kettlebells, because that weight's on the end, create more of a core challenge. Nice. If you lose count, don't worry, just keep cranking them out. Four, three, two, one. Time. All right, guys. Now, slow it down on these kettlebell goblet squats. This is your strength move. Go as heavy as you can. Now, if you have options with what kettlebell you're using, you can go as heavy as possible on this movement, but I designed this workout so you could flow through using the same kettlebell for the entire thing. But if you do have access to more kettlebells, then this would be the time to load it up. And don't be afraid of using heavier weights. That's how we sculpt that lean muscle tissue. Ah. Now what we don't want to do here, guys, quick coaching tip, is as you're lowering down, hunkering over to get low. Okay, so stay upright. That's where the core is getting more challenge. Stick your butt out. So it's butt out, knees out. Butt out and knees out. Get as low as you can. Time. Knock that one out. Now let's go ahead into that plyo donkey kick. Hit the deck, move number three in round two. We're down, one leg at a time. We're gonna drive it in and drive it up. In, now we're actually pushing off that grounded foot as we're driving that foot in the air. Now this is way more effective than those standard donkey kick exercises for working that booty and burning fat. Ooh. But if it gets too much, you can stay grounded. That's halfway, guys, other side. Ooh, such a cool move, too. So different. <sighs> we love doing these, too, because it's that undercover at work all the time. Ah, drive it in. Drive it up. Whew. Keep going. Almost there. Push. Three, two, one. Time. All right, guys. We're about to close out round two. Crazy cardio move. High, low heel clicks. Three, two, one. Here we go. One high, one low. One high, one low. Ah, it's so good. It's so good. What's cool about these short workouts, guys, is that the finish line is always in sight. And so you know that you can push extra hard and not worry about saving anything. Whoo, that was only halfway there. Good. Ah, get nice and tall at the top. If you start getting tired, you can do a lower click up high and down low. Not me. Gonna push. Whoo, 12 seconds. Ah. Oh, <laughs> sweat's dripping. All right, top. Feeling good. Five seconds. Four, three, keep going. Two, one. Time. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. Feel a little lightheaded right there. Totally natural, you guys, when that heart rate is really cranking. Time for round three right now. Get the kettlebell, five swings. Here we go. Now make sure when you're hiking back, they keep that back flat. And then stand up tall. Breathe with it. Three, four, five. Down, mountain climbers, 10 of them. Nine, 10, good. Oh yes. Now if you're new to kettlebells, go ahead and start lighter. Work on your form. Otherwise, if you've been using them for a while, crank them out, guys. Go as heavy as you can. Fast swings. Power in the hips. Whew. It's a great butt exercise, but also total body conditioning. Lost count right there, no big deal. Keep going. Whew. Time. Ran out of time right there. Ran out of time. You just go right to the end, guys. Keep pushing. Goblet squats, kettlebells up. Strength move. Let's go ahead, slow it down. Get a little stronger. So we're gonna lead with the butt. Ah, 
Nice. Now when you have that mind-body connection, it's a magical thing because you can work those muscles so much more when you can concentrate on the ones you're working. So we want that mind-body connection. As you're coming up, squeeze the glutes tight. Ooh, and you'll really feel it working every rep. Do not put that kettlebell down. 20 seconds. Ah, feeling good. I know you want to put it down, but do not. You have 10 more seconds. Come on, we're pushing through. This is the last round. Whew. Unless, of course, you're doubling up on this workout today, making it 24. But there's no need, really, if you push hard 12 minutes. Hard is going to be good. Five seconds. Ooh. Three, two, one. Kettlebell down. Set it aside. You're done with the kettlebell. It's all body weight from here on out. Let's go head down. Come. Plyo. Donkey. Kick. Donkey kick. Ah. Drive it in. Drive it up. Now it's slower on the way in, and then power. Squeeze the butt as you come up. Crazy cardio and butt work today, guys. Other leg. Drive it in. Whew. Drive it up. Almost there. Crank them out. Drive it up as high as you can. Land soft. Notice at the bottom that back knee is soft. Whew. Ah. Five seconds, sweat's dripping down. Ah. Time. All right, last move, we're here. We're here, we just gotta finish this thing. Five seconds, deep breath. Visualize it. Three, two, one, high, low, heel click, go. Whew, many as you can do. We're at the finish line. Crank them out. Whew. Oh, having so much fun getting it in with you guys. I'm not just talking about it, I'm being about it right here with you. Whew. Gotta put in the work. Halfway. Whew. Let's go 20 seconds. Keep working. 15 seconds. You push right now. Finish line is right in front of you. This is where the body wants to quit. But you're not going to until that timer runs out. Let's go, final five. Keep going. Four. Let's go. Three, two, one. Time. Woo! Awesome workout, you guys. I hope you liked that workout. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about this routine, fitness in general, or you have any suggestions or ideas that you're looking for in a follow along workout like this, go ahead and post them in the comments section. I love your comments and I will answer all of them. Anyway, you guys, thanks for checking out the video. Have an awesome day.